Hey guys, it's Two Shot here again, and this is my third commentary. Uh, like I promised, it's Witches Hollow PvP, which is an endgame skirmish, and this is also my first ever time playing as a melee scout. I recently respect. I came up with my own spec, didn't use any forum specs or any suggested specs, so I thought they were good, but I I preferred my own specs. When I spec, I prefer to make it personal. Anyway, for anyone who doesn't know about Witches Hollow, it's an endgame skirmish, like I just said, or PvP arena. Uh, it's, it can be League vs League, Empire vs League, or Empire vs Empire, really depends on who signs up. And to get into it you just sign up at the Skirmishes tab which is at the bottom left of your screen of the game. The objective of Witches Hollow is to get to uh, 2,500 points. And as you see there, there are three bases. One the starting point for League and Empire, and yeah. Right here I'm catching a flag. Every For every five seconds I think you hold the flags, your team gets a certain amount of points. For example, uh, right, this is how the points would work. If the league had two flags and we had one uh, every five seconds, they'd be getting twice as many points as us and getting to 2,500, which is the objective, a lot faster. As you can see, I'm just sort of defending this flag here, waiting for more to come. And yeah, uh, the rest of my team is attacking the middle flag. Right here, you see the score and everyone in it. You can see top damage, top healing, top combat glory, top amount of kills, top deaths. That's an embarrassing one to be on. And yeah, as I'm defending, <laughs> a whole leg, le uh, raid of League come. So I just go invisible on my horse because I figure it's not worth it, knowing that they've made a crucial mistake and left this base open. We did leave our base open, but that wasn't my fault. That was just because none of my team decided to go there, which is okay, because we end up... I'm not going to ruin it. <gasps> Secret. <laughs> Uh, anyway, right here, this is my first actual battle as melee scout. I've never played it before, and I use I use my blink attack, I think it's called, or the upgraded version of that, and then sumo roll to stun, and then fury of plates. I'm not sure. It's whatever I use then to keep him stun locked. But then I get feared, blink back in, and yeah. As you can see, I oh, as you'll see, and as you notice from most of this fight, I'm surrounded by my raid. There are a few raid v raid PVPs. Uh, I do this because it's the safest option. Also, I think better strategies for PvPing which is Hollow never go solo unless you're going to Ninja Cap, which you need invisibility potions to do, and you can go up invisible to the flag. And if nobody's doing an area of effect attack on it, uh, you can capture the flag. But anyway, I think the best strategies really for which is Hollow is to fight near the flag, so you can always see it, so you can try and take it. Never get distracted and turn too far away from the flag, which I do do countless times here because. I'm, I'm not the best at Witches Hollow. And um, always stay in a group. See, this guy right here goes by himself and then... Well, he wasn't very good to begin with and I absolutely slaughtered him. And as you'll see, there's a little shine around my head. When you kill someone, that goes around your head. So I just... I always press slash sign to get rid of it. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway. Right here, I'm staying with my raid. I was going to take my little shortcut over that little island you saw before, but my raid didn't, so I didn't. And I'm making sure this guy doesn't get to the flag because I can see he has his head, his mind set on just walking to that flag. Anyway, I sumo roll him. Use there it is, Fury of Blades, yeah, to keep him stun locked and try to attack him there, but just missed and blink towards him. This is another thing I found melee scout amazing fun doing the blinks and stuff. It's really good. Anyway, uh, I got another kill on him just then. I've noticed the melee scout damage is actually quite good. If you look, I think I just yeah, there you go. I'm third damage with two kills and zero deaths. Pretty proud of that. That's overall. Um, right here, these people all not fighting near the flag, but I choose. See, you have the option here to stay with your raid or go fight near the flag, and I choose to stay with my raid for safety. Mainly because if I hadn't have gone with my raid, I would have just walked into a slaughter, and it wouldn't have been very interesting to post on YouTube. At this point in time, as I was filming, I was I was thinking this wasn't. I was just filming to test Melee Scout, I suppose, see what I thought about it. I was going to upload this video regardless of how bad I went. I just really wanted to test out Melee Scout, like I promised. I said I, I'd make a YouTube video of it. Anyway, um, right here I go invisible because that's an entire league raid there. That's a good thing about Melee. You have a I don't know, 40, maybe 50 second invisibility with a slightly higher cooldown, so you can almost be constantly invisible. And yeah, you have smoke cloud and stuff, so it's just really good. Excuse me. <coughs> um, yeah, when my raid arrives, I go invisible, I blink through, and I start slaughtering these league. It's a fr fairly even right now. I can't really see the score on the screen I'm watching right now. I think it's 100. We're losing 191 to 221. Oh no, sorry, we're on five. We're on 400. 
but we're winning. We're almost doubling the score. We're doing very well. Except the fights were relatively even. I got into a 1v1 at one point, and yeah. Right here, this this healer is trying to defend the flag, not letting any of us take it, just disorienting us while we try to cap it, because as you saw, there's a time limit on capping it. But we're all staying near the flag, just trying to capitalize on the opportunity to take it. And as you can see, it's red now, we got the flag. Anyway, more things to know about Witch's Hollow, just while you watch these leagues die. <laughs> League die, sorry. Um, there's an island in the middle, because basically the three bases are in a triangle, if you saw from the map. And right there, if you saw forward, there's an island in the middle by itself. And there you can get a buff. There it is, just with that little house on it. Right on that island, you can get a buff. The buff um, gives either... There are two buffs you can get. It's random every time you land on it. It's either double damage, which uh, obviously you hit double damage, which is very good, especially for Scout, uh, or healing. I think it's 60k, uh, 60,000 health every 5 seconds, 3 seconds. Anyway, right here I defend, I choose, I'm thinking whether or not to go and follow them because there are only 3 of them going to the base, but then I decide to, and I could stall and think about it a bit longer because I have my little shortcut I use there, which gets me in front of them, as you see. Um, yeah, so right here I'm just aiming straight to the flag, I'm thinking, oh god, I could definitely die here, because it's 3v3. So I go invisible, check how it's going, decide to go around the back. And when I go around the back, I see that we have a teammate coming around. And as you saw there, I highlighted it over the invisible. It was 40 seconds. Uh, we have this guy coming around the back, so I decide to go for it. Because that she's got double damage, that healer. just there. I'll, I think I hovered over it after. Anyway, I jump in to kill a healer. I always kill the healers first, because you never know. And then as I'm killing a healer, a scout starts attacking me. And then I'm worried. So I'm starting to get a bit worried, so I blink out to the scout. I've got everyone on me. I'm not sure what to do here. I'm getting a bit worried, but my healer and my team absolutely slotted. If you'll see that ball following me, that's a mage move. It's pretty irritating. They follow you when they usually hit hard. That one didn't. Uh, because I'm melee, my defenses are a lot stronger than I was when I'm ranged, so I wasn't used to it. Anyway, got the kills, got the flag, got out of there, started attacking them, just defending the flag a bit. And this is, as you'll see, our team moves together, whereas a lot of the fights we get against them, it's almost our raid versus one of them, it's because their coordination compared to ours is terrible. You can tell by just watching the video. Um, I'm yet to try Melee Scout in Astral. I'm hoping it's going to be good, although uh, it doesn't seem like it does as much damage to me as Range Scout. Maybe that's because I'm not using it right or something. Anyway, you guys can tell me what you think. I don't um, mind. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right here I use the squad little sprint thing you can use with a cooldown, which is good. Ah, oh, and here you go. I'll highlight over the healer now. Uh, uh, there you go. All damage dealt is doubled. He's on the buff, which is really cool. Uh, this warden, I didn't want him to get the base, so I run in. And then I realized that my Fury of Blades got interrupted by his pets. So I couldn't keep him stunned, which was kind of irritating. Uh, so I'm thinking of using Caltrops, I don't know why I didn't, the whole fight I was thinking Caltrops, Caltrops, and I finally used them, and it's just an appalling effort. <laughs> God, that was terrible. And I think I kill this Warden now. N no, that was a blatant lie. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we kill him eventually, he's pretty good, he's using all of his moves to keep himself alive, if you see that. Yeah. Uh, uh, we have uh, Mage and Healer and Double Damage here, so we pretty much slaughter them. As you can see by the score, they have... Is that 400 or 100? 470, and we have 1,000 plus, easily. Um, so it's looking like we're going to win here. But then I realize that they're just trying to hold one base, because basically the way... I'm just healing up here. Basically, the way the point system works, in which is hollow, is... If you get 500, oh, woo, okay. The object, the total objective, which is hollow, is to get gear. Every time you get, when you get 500 points, you get points in the uh, battle. You get, say, I think it's 40 of these little battle emblems. And when you get, um, what, 2,500, you get 150, 140. I'm not sure. It's one or the other. And um, you can trade that. You you combine them with other things you get. Uh, which you just get 65 a week of the other things from a just quest that's really easy to do on the spot. Uh, right there I chopped my Caltrops in because I thought it was a bit of a raid situation there, trying to help with the stun, and I glitched out a little there when I tried to blink that guy. Anyway, yeah, and with those battle emblems combined with what you get from the other quest, you can get rep. You get 
uh, every hundred battle emblems you get, you get um, 35 rep, and you need to start 25,000 for the legendary gear. So yeah, it's pretty hard. It takes a long, long time, but it's it's a lot of fun. And Witches Hollow happens all the time. Whenever you sign up, basically on our server, which is Tensus, you get um, but you get a Witches Hollow. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, right here I'm going visible. It's pretty close raid v raid PvP. The whole raid is on the flag, and I'm worried for my life here. If, if you look at my health, so I this is the first time I've ever used smoke cloud. I'm not really sure how it works, so I'm standing in it, and I'm wondering if I'm invisible. And then I realize I see the buff on me, so I am. And then I run away because I can see our raid is going to lose that. I check the map, and uh, I think I check it now. Uh, I heal up first. That'd be right. I think I'm uh, lucky I healed up here because the summoner started following me. Um. Anyway, yeah. Um, oh, also, our server population wasn't isn't so big lately. It's been a bit small, but uh, the GMs recently announced we're getting a server merge with Nezib, which is really good. Uh, lots of new players and stuff. I haven't had a guild for a while because I just really haven't had many options because there's only three big guilds on our server. And so, uh, hopefully, with the guild merge, I'll get a new guild and stuff. Uh, anyway, right here, this summoner tries to gank me while I'm healing. Uh, and I'm having a lot of trouble getting the coordination on this summoner because it's underwater everything's all over the place and whenever I use my moves to blink me behind it and stuff it just it just doesn't work see if I roll behind it and then I can't use my fury of blades because I get stunned summoners I'm finding are very annoying to pvp lately they got a lot of fears and cc's but then again so do scouts uh, he uses his incense heal so I'm like alright whatever I'll match you there I'll use mine and then I think I get the advantage at one of these points, I'm having a, it's underwater PvP. I've never really done much before, but then I uh, yeah, I crit a 208k sumo roll. So yeah, uh, right here I am running to a flag that's under threat. That one, oh, it's not under threat. My bad. I'm just being a coward. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, back to the server merge. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping that the population will be a lot bigger. And uh, I'll get new. We'll have new end game guilds and stuff. Like I know there's ascendancy on the Nezum server. It's the only one I've heard of. Anyway, there's also new things being introduced in a new patch, like um, a new raid boss in uh, P another PVP zone. Oh, a PVP zone, which just hollow isn't really a PVP zone. Uh, and yeah, uh, what else has been introduced? New mounts, new things for looting and all kinds of cool stuff. They always do cool stuff, Alds. Like um. They gave us 200 G pots per each character we have last week because it was the anniversary, which is pretty cool. And right here, I'm checking the score. As you can see, I'm eight kills for zero deaths, and I'm third on damage still. And I'm pretty proud of that, considering my gear is absolutely terrible. Right there, I get demounted by the summoner's move. It's this, it's this one minute thing, and after a minute, it hits you. I kept checking on that if you saw, and that's why I healed up. And just because it's about to end, we're on 2,200 or 300. I can't see. Uh, I decide to go to their base, and then I realize that their whole raid is there, and I'm thinking, what to do, what should I do? So, this is me being a coward, guilty, <laughs> uh, just trying to, I'm just assessing whether my team's going to win or lose. It's looking like we're going to lose here, I'm just weighing up the players. Put my cow drops in, can't pick who to attack, I'm just thinking which ones are too close to the middle so I'll get bombarded with AoE then I see this scout and I think about it that he was out of my line of sight so what I do is I run around the back being a coward because I'm a oh god this was an embarrassing moment <laughs> truly a bad moment anyway and then I start getting attacked by this mage and I know I can kill this mage but I know I can't kill him with all of his backups so I try to lure him out and then as I'm running away I see this warrior coming towards me so I'm like okay Cal drops and I'll play with him until it ends because I know it's about to end and I think it's funny <laughs> he knows not to charge me because he knows my cow drops in a way and then I decide to go for it I think this warrior has a lot more gear than me at this point in time I'm not sure about runes but um, yeah I've expected him in PV previous uh, PVPs and he does outgear me quite a lot so it's quite worrying and he has a psycho incarnation there that's why he used telekinetic pull to get me on the ground so I'm on low health here and I'm like no I don't want to die to ruin the whole thing so I here I use my incense heal and start running and there you go. Third on DPS, eight no. Hope you enjoyed it guys. See ya.